and welcome to part two. This is Priscilla Batsell. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio in Spring Hill, Florida. And this was a scape I did originally as a background for chain pulled flowers. So here's my chain. I can't find the larger stuff, which is kind of too bad because I like it. But I used pieces of my tongue depressor to identify spots I thought would be good for flowers. But I'm not sure that they'll wind up there. But they're a good, good way to choose to begin with. I think I want to start as far to the left as I can. And I'm going to use some Chantilly lace right across the top. Put those little pieces somewhere else. That might be way more than I should have put out there. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to try the uh, crab apple, which is a primary element. And then some pink diamond. The Chantilly lace is also a prism pour. Pink diamond is a prism pour. And maybe just for grins, I'm going to put a little bit of the sour lemon. What the heck? And some of my saffron. Got to start somewhere, right? So I'm going to wrap this chain and put it in my hand. One black fingernail. Oops. Wrap this chain around the bottom. It's been a while since I did this. I'm making a mess. Wrap it around the top. I think I'm going to take that again. I'm going to go back up and come down again. And then I'm going to bring over my wet rag so I can wipe my chain off. Because otherwise I'm going to have a lot of extra paint. Usually I don't. So I'm thinking that I would like some yellow. So I'm going to use the sour lemon that has a little bit of vivid intense pearly orange in it. Sour lemon is a prism pour. Tuscan sun is a prism pour. That's the second color I used. And what do I want? I want something obnoxious. I want to use the wild orchid, and I'm still going to use the Chantilly lace, and I'm going to use a little bit less of it. I might wind up dotting that, or kind of have this feeling I might like. to do something else entirely. There was a lot of paint there. That might have been a mistake. I kind of want to take that off. But I'll leave it for right now because it's definitely wet enough so that I can remove it. Take more sticks out of the way. I'm going to move that chain to halfway. That's a lot more like what I had in mind. And still too much paint. So I think what I'm going to do is something highly unusual. Grab a sponge, because the painting is ba background is wet. And we'll go back to that. In the meantime, I'm just going to put a little flourish in right there and make sure my chain is wiped off and then I have enough time. I hope I have enough time for all this. I'm a little slower than I wanted to be right now. I'm going to try and use a whole lot less of everything. 
That was the Chantilly Lace. This is the Saffron. This is the Pink Diamond. Here goes nothing. We're going to try it again. So I'm going to put it the opposite way, pull it down, and I'm going to put it up again at the top, let it relax for a second, and use those residuals to make more petal looking shapes. And do the same again on the other side, and then wipe it off, that's better. I just have to slow my roll a little, a little bit. Back to the Chantilly Lace. I'm going to use a little bit of Cerulean Blue, if I can. I'll combine that with some of the Wild Orchid. I turned on the little heater in my room. You might be able to hear it in the background, but it's finally getting warm enough so that I think it's time to turn it off. I'm going to indulge myself in a little bit of pink. Maybe a dot above just because I want to experiment. And a little below, which will usually get lost. Much better on the on the quantity of paint I'm using. I like what's left though. So I'm still continuing to move the chain around in a circle. And that seems to look good. See I have a little spot up here. No, it's paint chip. I was gonna cover it. <laughs> Let me move the rest of these out of the way. I hope I can continue with this as quickly as possible. Let's just mark out where we want things to be. Now that's five, six, seven. Hopefully my color choices will be good ones. That's the pink diamond. That's the crab apple, which might be too dark for that spot. I wanted to use some darker purple, and I have some. This is the wild orchid, prison pour. I think I'm glad I'm setting these up now. This is some Prussian violet. This is the same Prussian violet. And I cannot help that someone is having a conversation on the phone in the other room loudly because they know better. All right, so here's some more cerulean blue. Excuse me, I will return. Please excuse me, I have a really hard time focusing when somebody's having a conversation in the background. I'm going to put a little more crab apple right in here. And I keep looking at this beautiful yellow and purple, but I want to put an orange dot in there for whatever reason. I might spiral it out in a minute, I might not. Come on. I like the fact you can do almost anything you want 
and it usually comes out pretty interesting. Hopefully that'll work with using this chain dirty with the residual from the last flower. So I think it's a good idea to change up. First I go one way, then I try and change it around so I'm going in the other direction. I didn't do that. <laughs> but you can also drag the chain back up again. I kind of want some pink in this one, but we'll see if I need it. Now I went that way so I can go this way. I've got enough residual on my chain. So if I want to add more petals somewhere else, I can do that. Do I dare? Add a contrasting yes. Use the colors I've got on my chain just to make them a rainbow, a rainbow batch of flowers. If you're quick enough, you won't make mud. All right, I want a little bit of yellow over here. Can I have it? That's the question. Probably going to wind up being green no matter what I do. But I like the little droplets. Just using the residual. on the chain to uh, drop right down into the edge of the flower. I am taking chances. But I like the results of taking chances. Those are pretty cool, I think. Let that chain relax for a second so that it will drop its payload of color. There. I'm going to wipe that off, that piece of chain off, and throw it in the bucket. And then I'm going to try and add some stems. And if I have time, I'll add foliage. So I have some paint in a container over here that you can probably see that is, <coughs> excuse my throat, <coughs> is, I don't know, a week to 10 days old. And I'm going to throw some triple sec. Fandango. Triple sec is a primary element, I believe. Fandango. I have to always remember to shake up the royal sapphire because it's it separates pretty quickly. This is some African violet. And last but not least, a little winter green. hope that I'm right. Something is making my notice run. I'm so sorry. So I'm just going to grab a stick. Some more colors. And maybe I'll put more flowers in if I have time. I was all ready to make up a big dish of colors for greenery, but I'm thinking that I kind of like the idea of 
doing what I'm doing and attempting to add maybe some more greens to the same dish and then if I'm right just spreading out some leaves I don't know if it's deep enough or if I have enough colors in there I think I can make it work with a little practice I've got three minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and I give classes at the house in Springville, Florida. I'm going to flip that around because it doesn't seem to be cooperating with me as well as I'd like. And I'll spread it out a little bit by moving the tongue depressor sideways. definitely think there's room for more flowers but I'm not actually minding what I've got either because I, I like seeing the landscape behind sorry I'm quiet I'm trying to finish this in time. Now if I ever get a, a longer recording camera I will be learning how to edit, doing a lot of fast forwarding and taking my time to make the longest, most elaborate paintings possible. And whatever amount of time it takes me, which is ideally, which is my ideal basically. I want to hurry and turn this around for you guys. I like the greenery. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't put more at the bottom. It's getting a little muddy, but it's perfectly muddy for a twilight scene. I don't think I need more flowers either. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I need one more flower, probably right up in the center. So if that's in the thumbnail when you see it, you'll know what happened. And it's probably going to be bright pink. So in the meantime, let me try and do that. Here's the pink diamond. A little Chantilly lace. I think I have another piece of chain handy. I sure hope so. Yes, I do. Cool. Perfect, in fact. A little bit of saffron. A little bit of sour lemon with vivid... Come on out. When that timer goes off, we'll have another minute. Yep, it needed to be seven. Four. <laughs> we might need another flower. I miscounted. <laughs> I get so distracted. Okay, I can't undo that. So I've got one minute and uh, you'll be gone. Check my link tree for all kinds of cool stuff. and use my residuals. I want to flip that around so you have a chance to see it. And try and do... one more flower. Alright, I don't know if I can shimmer this at you or not. I love you guys. I'm going to probably tweak, add a little ball at the bottom of, of each flower bud. You know the drill, everything's on the link tree. Those are my flowers and that's my landscape. I love you.